Like I said in a previous video, I knew this was going to happen to God of War Ragnarok. Am I mad? No. Am I a little disappointed? Absolutely. So today we might have gotten full confirmation on how Sony will release God of War Ragnarok. So with that being said, enough with the intro, let's get into it. But before we do, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with the best gaming news and breakdowns. Other links in the description box below. Thank you guys. Do you guys remember that interview with the Telegraph and PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan when they asked him flat out if God of War Ragnarok will be a PlayStation 5 exclusive? And he said, sorry, I've got nothing to say about that today. Then I made a video about it because he had us all speculating. Well, now the original God of War director, not Corey Barlog, has come out and said his piece. On Twitch, the original God of War director, David Jaffe, was asked about the release of Ragnarok, to which he says, Oh, I'm sure the next God of War will be PS4, PS5. I, I, of, of course it will. I mean, Jim Ryan has pretty much said as, as much. Like what he said, I really believe God of War Ragnarok is going to be a cross-gen title especially after Jim Ryan straight up ran away from that question. But before I get too ahead of myself, this is not official confirmation, unless he is working on the new God of War, which I don't think he is. And we barely even know anything about this game as it is. So unless it is from Santa Monica or Sony, it is pure speculation. When this clip was posted, just like with any comment section on the internet, some people were harsh, like saying this is Sony's biggest L. And then you had some people understanding the situation. All in all, a lot of people wanted this to be built from the ground up on the PlayStation 5 so they could take full advantage of the new system. The reasons why I assume the next God of War will be cross-gen is because most of the games that we thought at first were going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive actually turn out not to be one, like Horizon Forbidden West and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Also, in an interview late in 2020 with AV Watch, Sony Interactive Entertainment head of platform programming, Hidaki Nishino said that for the time being, development for the PlayStation 4 is also necessary due to its huge install base. I think it's safe to say that most games will be next-gen exclusive in 2022 due to the lack of supply of the new consoles and how Sony and Microsoft don't want to do a thing about these scalpers, which is actually hurting the PlayStation 5 software sales, according to a Bloomberg report. The reasons why I'm disappointed in this decision is because one of the main reasons I got the PlayStation 5 was for this game. I wanted to see what the PlayStation 5 could really do, like with its graphics and performance. And I'm not saying we are not going to see that, but some aspects of the game might be toned down because the PlayStation 4 can't handle it. But at the end of the day, for those people who don't have the money right now or who keep trying to buy a PlayStation 5 and it's selling out, this is still the best way of meeting everyone in the middle. So I'm down. In conclusion, tell me what you would want. Do you want to see Ragnarok as a PlayStation 5 exclusive or do you want it to be a cross-gen title? Let me know. As always, you already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe and peace.